Crow Steel here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel and another New York City vlog. Make sure to give a girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. All right, you guys, yes! We are in New York City for uh, quite a few weeks and we have so many fun events, house hunting, all kinds of things going on. So be prepared for all the New York City vlogs. But first, we're gonna kick off this video with the New End Fashion Hall in partnership with Goelia. If you've never heard of them, they are a fashion brand founded in 1995 and they are all about amazing quality pieces, affordability, very feminine pieces, um, basics that can really be staples throughout your wardrobe. So we're gonna rewind it back I'm gonna show you all the pieces and then we'll come back here. But I do have a code for you all. It is TS15 that you can use for a discount at Goelia. Now let's get into the haul. All right guys, let's get into this haul. I'm very excited to show you guys 11 pieces that I got in. I'm definitely trying to elevate my wardrobe with more quality basics that I can mix and match throughout my wardrobe to really be staples. And I'm also looking for more feminine, elevated classic pieces um, i'm just in that era of my life and so without further ado let's get into the haul and you can use code st15 for 15 percent off of your order so without further ado let's get into the haul we have this first piece which i absolutely love it feels incredible it is this striped razor bag almost kind of like a sports bra top um, and it comes in the classic white with black stripes. It is a ribbed knit. It has a great amount of stretch. And I got this in a size medium. It fits like a dream. I feel like this is great for summer. You can pair this with like a really nice pair of tailored shorts. Or you can pair it with jeans like I did here. These jeans are probably my favorite purchase. So these are the denim baggy barrel jeans and barrel jeans are trending so much for 2024. I've seen every single brand make them. The quality is incredible. I got these jeans in a size 28, which is my normal size and they fit perfectly. You can go with your normal size. Uh, they're high waisted, which I love. And then they have that great barrel. And I love these. The denim on these is incredible. It's kind of soft and light, but still gives a quality denim. So you can definitely wear these in the summertime and not be too hot. I pair these with a pair of classic pointy toe uh, Chanel mules and I love the look. I feel like you can dress these jeans up. You can dress them down and there are so many incredible pieces which you can dress them up with. But for just a cool girl everyday moment, I'm loving this crop tank, these barrel jeans, and my pointy toe Chanel mules for an everyday look. And I think I'll just toss on uh, my Bottega bag with it. And I can run some errands and still look chic and put together. I feel like these jeans will be in my wardrobe forever and they're clocking in at just $79, you guys. With my 15% discount. I've linked everything down below. Let's get into the rest of the pieces. I got these loose A-line shorts in white. You guys, these are so amazing and they look incredible on me. Um, they also come with a belt. So this belt comes with these shorts. And I love this belt. I mean, it's so versatile. You can use it on these shorts. You can use it on other pieces. I can also even pop them into these denim barrel jeans. But I think that's so like great and cost effective that the belt comes with the shorts. And I love that these shorts have pockets as well. I ended up getting these shorts in a size 28, which is my normal size, and they fit great. They do have a bit of elasticity in the waist. So that's wonderful. These are very, very chic shorts. I love the feel of them. They feel very expensive. They look very expensive, but they come in at just 59 bucks. Um, and I think they're perfect for summer, get away to Capri. I mean, a lunch on the beach. These just scream like quiet luxury. I mean, it's true. <laughs> that's exactly what they're giving. Um, and I ended up pairing these shorts with this gorgeous knit top. Look how gorgeous this knit black top is. 
the material is so light and airy so even though it's a knit you can definitely still wear this in spring and summer and I love the neckline on this with that little curve it's just so chic so fun it's the perfect length if you want to tuck it into like a short or a skirt or if you want to just wear it out um, but it's such good quality it feels amazing and it's so feminine and chic with that cutout at the neckline just giving it a more art artistic feel uh, so I ended up pairing this top with the a-line white shorts and i love the way the look came out i paired it with a pair of just pointy toe mules again to go with the look and it's everything i ended up getting this top in a medium so i'll be sure to link this top down below i mean it's great it can go with everything it's a very lightweight knit but it's not see-through so we love that now i loved the white a-line shorts so much that I also got them in black. So here are the black A-line shorts. Um, and they do tend to have like a little pleat in the front. They are more a more tailored short, which I feel like makes them a lot more polished and smart and put together, but still light enough and airy enough for summer. Uh, it does have pockets, same as the white ones, and almost like a tuxedo pocket in the back. And as you can see, these shorts also came with the belt. The belt is black with a nice brass buckle. And I just love these shorts. I feel like I'm gonna get so much wear out of these. These are going to be a staple in my wardrobe all spring and all summer, maybe even into fall and winter. I could wear these with a knee high, like chunky boot. Ugh, and like a blazer, yes. I love that look. I got these also in a 28. They fit perfectly with the shorts. Again, they have a little elasticity. You can go with your normal size in these. Now, for the top, I paired this with, I don't know, I'm really into stripes lately. I, I, I don't know what it is, but I'm loving stripes. Uh, but I paired it with this knit striped top and it's almost like a slouchy, oversized feel. I wish you guys could feel the fabric of this top is so luxurious and feels incredible on the skin but it also breathes so you can definitely still wear this in the in the hottest day of the summer and still feel cool because the knit is a very light knit but it feels so luxurious um, and i got this in a medium the medium fits great it is meant to be kind of an oversized and I like that feel and how this looks when you just tuck it into a black uh, short like the ones here. And again, you can wear this with just about anything. I could also wear this with these barrel jeans and it'd be a vibe in a moment. I styled that look with a pair of Christian Louboutin T-strap white, gold, and black sandals. And it just, it works. With the black and white in the top and the black and the shorts and even the brass of the of the belt buckle with the gold in the shoe and just a fantastic very elevated yet laid back chic look so i'll be sure to link all of those pieces and now let's get into oh i got a really cute skirt and a lots of dresses next up we have this slit skirt it's so gorgeous it is in this white color. The waist is elastic, which is great. And it has a hidden zipper here on the side. It is more like a midi skirt and it's so feminine and chic and elevated and just perfect for summer. I love how it's almost like a 3D feel with the floral almost detailing kind of coming off the skirt in this lovely fabric, almost like a chiffon. And you can see the elastic waist there. Uh, but such a gorgeous skirt and also can be worn with the black knit top with a really cool neckline. It does have a little slit on the left hand side. And I just feel like this is really great for maybe like a meeting, for a work meeting, or just if you want to look more put together and elegant. Uh, without trying too hard. I ended up getting this skirt in a size medium. The medium fits really well. And again, that waist is elastic. 
and so you have a little bit of wiggle room i probably could have even done a small but i like the way that the medium fits it does have a half slip underneath to cover your modesty which comes almost you know about a little bit past your mid thigh and so it's not see-through in that way and just such a beautiful skirt and the price point for the quality on this is amazing so i'll be sure to link this skirt down below i ended up styling this with the black um really cool uh neckline top knit top and a really nice pair of heels okay now let's get into the four yes four dresses that i got from i think you guys are going to love them starting with this denim dress this is another one of my favorites from this haul this denim is so soft against your skin and it feels super luxe, but it's lightweight. So it's great for spring, great for summer, great for fall with like a nice boot or booty. I ended up styling this with uh, my Ferragamo mules, but wow, the quality on this dress is impeccable. I ended up getting this dress in a size medium. I'm normally a US size six. This dress fits me perfectly to a T. I love the V-neck. It also has a modesty button, which is wonderful. Two pockets in the front. It has these little sleeves, which can be pulled up and buttoned, or you could take the button off and let the sleeve just kind of hang. But I love it buttoned because it gives it more of a utilitarian feel um, and a, just a little more trendy. But if you want a more sophisticated uh, look, you can always let the sleeve down. Uh, and it does have an elastic band of waist in the back. So it really fits you form fitting and the top kind of bubbles out, which I love. And then the skirt is very form fitting with two pockets on the back, two pockets in the front, which are functional pockets. It does have belt loops in case you would like to put your own belt on it. But it th then it has a little slit on the left hand side and i love how the buttons are actually laid asymmetrical on the skirt kind of like off to the left i think that adds a really cool design element overall this is a very chic and sophisticated denim dress probably one of the most like elegant denim dresses i've ever seen and it's kind of hard to make denim elegant because it's such a relaxed kind of everyday fabric but I love this. This dress does have a tiny bit of stretch in the denim, but I would suggest going with your normal size. And again, it's super lightweight and breathable, so still great for summer and just so chic and like and feminine with a, a red lip and a, a wedge. I feel like it's just the perfect look for summer. Next up, we have this gathered waist spaghetti strap dress with detachable a bra pads inside you guys this is the most feminine like dress of all time it's so beautiful i have to mention that uh, the straps are adjustable which is amazing this dress goes up to a uh, size double xl and it's stunning it even has pockets i love a dress with pockets i really do um, and the way this one kind of almost like bulges out at the waist just adds such a beautiful design element and really gives you an hourglass figure. This dress is very lightweight and airy and it's just stunning. I absolutely love this dress. It's just so feminine and gorgeous. So this dress definitely puts me in the mind frame of being in my feminine era and of course i've linked this down below for you all next up we have this ruffle off the shoulder maxi dress which is 100 percent cotton and it's so beautiful i love this color it's almost like a rust orange which is perfect for vacation you're going to the beach you are having a, a girl's like brunch this dress is perfect for that it's super lightweight and airy but it just looks like a dream on it's so feminine i love the ruching in the middle which makes it nice and form fitting and then kind of like the a line of the skirt that just kind of bulges out and also this dress has pockets 
I mean, Golia, they really know what they're doing when they're putting pockets on all these dresses. I love a pocket and this dress is absolutely stunning. I ended up getting this dress in a size medium. The medium fits me perfectly. Again, I am normally a US size six, 28 in jeans. I'm five foot six, six inches tall, so you can kind of see where it hits me. But such a gorgeous, well-made, beautiful dress for an incredible price. Perfect for spring as well as summer. So I'll be sure to link this dress down below for you all. If you're in your like little prairie uh, vibe, then this dress is super feminine and perfect for you. And last but certainly not least, we have another denim, dr denim dress because you all know how I feel about denim. I'm a denim girly. I have so many denim accessories, shoes, and so I really wanted to get <laughs> another denim dress. And so we have this denim wrap dress. It is so stunning. It's in that same very classic but lightweight and breathable with a slight stretch denim fabric. This one is so beautiful. It's more like form fitting. It does also have a modesty button. I ended up getting this in a size medium, which is a US size six, UK size 10, Australian size 10 as well. And it fits perfectly. I love the poofiness of the shoulders and that the sleeves also have a little ruching so you can see that they're stretchy. So if you happen to have larger arms, <laughs> this will work for you because it does stretch. The denim does have some stretch. Also on the inside of this dress, there are several ways to adjust it so that it fits you perfectly. There are built-in buttons for when you need to like wrap it in two different places and it has a multitude of buttons so you can kind of fit it to really tailor to your body. And I love this circle detailing here on the left hand side with the little flap here that you can close it up. It's just such a beautiful dress. You have a little bit of a slit on the left hand side and it just feels so good on, so feminine, so flirty and the price again is just impeccable. Um, again, styled this with a pair of my favorite shoes and you're all to run errands and look put together and it's just great. So again, if you're looking for incredible staple pieces in your wardrobe for summer, Goelia has you covered. I quickly have shown you guys just 11 pieces that I think will get me through the end of the year. These are going to be 11 staple pieces throughout my wardrobe, especially for summer and even into fall with different footwork. And I love that a lot of these pieces, especially with the shorts and the tops and the skirts, I can mix and match with ease. Uh, and the quality can't be beat for the price. Don't forget that you can use my code ST15 for 15% off. I've linked all of these pieces down below for you all. Lots of these pieces do go up to a double XL, if not an XL. So make sure if you like a piece, just click the link in my bio to see if it comes in your size. Most likely it does. All right, so I hope you all enjoyed that partnership. I know a lot of you aren't as adventurous with your fashion and that's okay. Everyone has their different styles, um, but I definitely want to be a source of inspiration for every kind of fashion girly, whether you are quiet luxury, whether you're just looking for staple pieces because you have a nine to five and you want to be able to go from work to girls night or drinks with the girls. Like I want to be able to provide everything for you, you guys. That's why I do more than just high fashion as well. But yeah, that was a great partnership. I'm really loving those barrel jeans and you will see them more in this vlog. Uh, but we got, we've gotten ourselves together for the day. I do want to show you guys that I did get my hair redone. <laughs> I literally only have my natural hair out for one week because it's so, the humidity in Miami is set to hell. I've told you guys that before. It's so hot in Miami, my natural hair cannot sustain when it's that much moisture in the sky, um, which is why we are in New York. Miami is just entirely too hot during the month of like July and August. So we're gonna be spending a lot of time in New York. We have some trips coming up. We're going to the Hamptons. Um, we might go to Barbados, we might. We'll see y'all. Anywho, I'm trying to be in Italy too at some point, so we'll see how this goes. Um, 
I'm kind of here just to prepare for my event. I'm doing my first ever meet and greet event in Brooklyn um, next weekend. And so I just wanted to be here to receive things. Um, yeah, that's what we're doing. So today I'm about to head to a panel. My girl Chi, brown girl Chi, here on YouTube and on Instagram. She is on a panel today. Um, and so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna pop up. She doesn't know that I'm coming. <laughs> I don't even think she knows that I'm here. Um, but I'm gonna pop up because she's been doing so many amazing like panels and hosting. Um, and I've not been able to make any of her events yet. She always invites me. And so I wanna go support my girl, Chi. Um, I know some other friends are gonna be there as well. So we'll probably get into some things today. Uh, let me show you guys my OOTD you just seen this shirt probably in a, another video it's my jacquemus twist front shirt and then i have on my metamorphosa skirt that i got from wolf and badger it is still available um they have it in this darker wash as well as a lighter wash it's pretty affordable um up and coming like small independent designers are sold at wolf and badger so you're helping a small designer which is great um and it's it goes up to plus sizes as well so i'll link this down below you guys can check it out in fact i just made a get ready with me reel in my coffers with this look so i'm gonna insert that here so you guys can see the full look um and then we're gonna head downtown to me packing district for my girls panel You guys enjoyed that get ready with me i love doing those i try to do like one or two every time i'm back in harlem because that cloth is which is just my whole ikea closet it just brings back so many nostalgic memories and those of you who've been riding me for riding with me for a really long time do y'all know that's how i kind of popped off during the pandemic like doing my get ready with me's even though i wasn't going nowhere in my cloth is during the pandemic i forgot I'm just going off on a tangent. I'm just very happy and excited to be back in New York and get to see my girls. But yes, my girl Brittany, her name is Slade.Studios on Instagram. I'll link her details down below. She came and she does do house calls, but she also has a studio in like the Miami area. Um, she redid my braids for me and I love them this time instead of doing the waves I went back to the curly hair I just feel like it's fuller and I have a small head I don't know if you guys notice <laughs> but I feel like the fuller the hair the 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 more normalized my head looks now I could be wrong but I prefer to have like more volume and I like this better it's also giving like virgin islands it's giving it's giving island it's giving i'm going to be an, on an island soon in a bikini like that's what it's giving and hopefully that happens anywho let me get myself together you guys um and we will head down to the event all right guys hopefully you can see me but here is the full look jackal moose top metamorphosis skirt that i have linked um the shoes are christian louboutin I love them. This little like tuxedo front, like a T-strap is so cool. Um, I'll be sure to link these down below because these are, I do believe these are quite new and they've only been out for about a month. Um, the bag, we are going with my Dior uh, Rasta Collection saddle bag. Got this in Paris. My Tiffany earrings, the lip is Fenty, HBIC. And then I'm gonna wear these Lou Goldie sunglasses if I'm able to put them on they're really really cool I, the brand actually sent these to me they have yellow lenses and black frames and I think they just look so like cool with the look kind of brings the yellow out in the bag and that is gonna be the look for today hanging out with the girls and checking out my girl Chi her panel. 
All right, guys, it's so funny. My neighbor just came and knocked on the door and he asked me to go on a bike ride with him tomorrow. And because the last time I was here, I noticed he had like a road bike. And I was like, oh, you bike? Like, that's what's up. And he was like, yeah, you? I was like, yeah, I do a little cycling. Um, and so he asked me to go on a ride, but I don't have a bike here in New York, but I'm definitely about to get one since I'm gonna be here for a few weeks. Um, but he was like, yeah, we could just do city bike. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take you up on your offer because I've never actually rode a bike in New York. Um, Miami, we have a lot of bike lanes. It's very bike friendly, especially on the beach where I live. But New York is a different kind of, a different kind of beast. Um, and a lot more busy the streets than Miami. And so I'm actually a little bit afraid <laughs> to ride on the streets just to get to the, the bike pass. So yeah, I think I'm gonna take him up on his offer and we're gonna go on a bike ride tomorrow, which is so cool. All right, anywho, look out for me to get a new bike. I think I'm gonna like try to hit up some bike shops around Harlem and see if I can get, you know, something not too fancy, like a road bike, something kind of light, cause I will have to carry it up and down the steps. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. Even if it is just city bike and city bikes are so heavy, but if you're looking to just start cycling just to get into it to see if it's something you're interested in i started with city bike in miami um and i only exclusively rode like the heavy basket city bikes for like for like five months until i was like yo like this bike is just so heavy I, and i want to go faster so i went and i bought my bike but yeah super cute all right guys let's go meet up with the girl
All right, guys, we are leaving the event. She did such a good job. Like, she's amazing. Like, her, tra her like, trajectory with influencing is the stuff of dreams, and it's because she's so authentic and hardworking and just fun. Like, she does it for the passion of it. And I think that's the best way to do it. That creates longevity. Um, so now I am with Nas and Tanya, and we're going to the Standard Grill for lunch, I think. It's very cute out here. But I'm starving, so let's do it. panel um that my girl brown girl chi was on it was so good she is such she's like a natural at public speaking and it was nice to like learn more about her job at coach and also how she just kind of segued into the content creation space she's amazing if you have been living under a rock and you haven't been following all the girlies definitely check out brown girl chi on instagram and here on youtube um i love her youtube channel as well uh but yeah she's amazing she gave me a little <laughs> a little shout out too during her speech i mean during her panel which was cool um so i met up with tanya darling t uh carolyn gray as well as my girl Nas of the yusufs and for chi's uh panel and then we headed over to, I don't know the restaurant. Um, it's right across the street. It's not the standard grill, but it's the little uh, Mexican restaurant next to it that has a really cute outdoor space for just like drinks and tacos. We in Harlem, y'all. <laughs> Those are the sounds of Harlem. Um, so yeah, we headed over, uh, Nas and Tanya and I, and we had some tacos, some sangria, a very nice gentleman sent us a round of drinks, which was really nice. I mean, we, we just had some girl chat, uh, you know, about relationships and men and, <laughs> and how dating is for the birds. Okay. It's for the birds. I feel like with the invention of social media, dating has just gotten increasingly awful. So if you got a man or a woman and the relationship is good, hold on tight. Okay, because trust me, you don't want to be back out here in the streets because the streets are, are it's hard out here. Anywho, that was fun. Um, I don't have much going on for the rest of the the day tomorrow i'm actually heading to some open houses i have like seven open houses that i'm going to um and i'm gonna put that in a different vlog i've been telling you guys for a while that one of my dreams is to own something in new york city now this apartment i'm just renting it <laughs> and i feel like because i'm not here enough renting an apartment is kind of wild <laughs> and so i feel like i can be investing that money in something that i actually own so i am looking at multi-family properties in harlem as well as in brooklyn tomorrow is a full day of looking in brooklyn and so it should be really really fun i'm looking mostly at townhouses and brownstone multi-family properties and so we gonna see y'all i'm gonna take y'all with me for it it's gonna be in a different vlog but yeah should be fun um i got so many compliments on my outfit today and i love that for me <laughs> i'm just trying to clean out my purse because it is so much stuff in here oh i got some gum out of the out of the uber okay i think it's all clean i love a good saddlebag because it will literally fit your entire life in there and then i love the little pocket in the back 
this is usually like where I keep my cell phone for easy access and where I also keep a lens cleaner now if you're a content creator or just a person who likes to take videos and photos with your phone you need one of these on deck at all times this is actually from this is so bougie this is this is a lens cleaner from can you see it Cartier actually I think this is to clean my jewelry but I use it to clean my phone because it's so good. Like in, before I take a picture, before I take a video, I'm cleaning the, the lens. Before I take a selfie, before I do any of that, I get right up here in the crevice. You know? So you should keep one of these on deck at all times if you plan on having nice, crisp videos. And I still have an a iPhone 14 Plus with only two lenses. I know y'all be talking about me, but yes. But everyone's always asking, oh, your content looks so crisp, looks so good. I'm like, I have the old phone. It's literally that I clean my lens a gazillion times <laughs> before I take a picture or before I take a video. And I always use this camera for like content for Instagram and everything. This one is a no-go. It's good for a story or whatever, but she the one back here. Yeah, so that was a vibe. It was good catching up. With the girls i do have two packages in so i'm gonna quickly show you guys some new things that i've gotten in and then we're probably gonna close out this vlog like i know this vlog was like super short it's just like a day with me and then i also did my golia haul for you all but yeah there will be more videos so let's head into the living room and i'll show you a new pair of shoes i got in and a swimsuit all right guys, first up, my friends at Bash sent me over some sneakers. I think they did a collab with this brand, which is really cool. Um, I took you guys previously to the Bash store in Miami Design District, and I got a really cute jacket from them, which is actually here in New York, and a beautiful dress. But let's get into it. These are the Saba sneakers. Oh look. Born to move for a walk, a run, a talk for fun or for life. That's super cute. They sent over a handwritten note. Dear Monroe, excited to have you score our latest collaboration with Sash. With Sash. We are so inspired by all that they are doing and happy to share with our community of inspiring women. How cool. Um, this is actually really great because I need some biking sneakers and running sneakers. How cute are these? These are the terracotta. These are so cute, like for a run. And I have a lot of like neutral workout gear. So these will go perfectly. I feel like these are more for like walking, running. They look super comfortable. I love the colors. So if you're interested, I'll link these down below for you guys, but shout out to the Bash team for sending these over. Next up, my friends over at Riot Swim sent me a, a few pieces from their Ocean Ave collection. Riot Swim is a black owned business and during Miami Swim Week, I went to an event with them at the Miami Edition Hotel. Like it was a fabulous dinner and I got to meet the creator and owner and she she's just amazing. Um, and so their PR team reached out and asked me if I wanted a swimsuit and I thought, why not? I'm going to be in New York City for a few weeks. I'm definitely having a swim day at some point at Dumbo House. So why not? I'm also going to the Hamptons soon. So I can't actually remember what I picked out but I think I got a cute little bikini. So let's take a look. By the way, their swimwear is, I mean, it's made so well. So I ended up getting the Naya bikini in black. This does come in several colors, but how fun is this? The straps are adjustable and it even has like the little rubber part to stay up on your bust so that you can remove the straps and just wear this as kind of like a strapless bathing suit top. And then the bottoms are, they're giving girl, they're giving, they're giving tiny. It's not exactly a thong, but yeah, it's pretty much a thong. <laughs> this is the front. I love the, the detailing here, how that looks on the corners. And then this is the back and 
there's not much there's there's not much but i love it this would look great underneath my black cover-up from uh revolve i brought a ton of cover-ups so this would look great underneath it also came with a little scrunchie in the same fabric which is super cute and they also sent over a bag at least i think this is like a beach tote from ocean ave by riot swim i want to take it out so i can show you guys here we go they sent over this super cute little beach tote with lots of like pastel colors very cute it's huge too so good for a beach day i am going to the hampton so this might be a great bag to take for that all right you guys that is all i have for this video for you all today um i have lots more new york city vlogs coming there are so many events happening next week including my first ever meet and greet which i'm really excited about hopefully i will be able to open the rsvp again um you guys just have to stay on top of it like you need to be following me on instagram watching my stories as soon as i post them reading the newsletter as soon as it hits your inbox because those two places will let you know exactly what's happening if i'm just gonna open the rsvp list again next week before the event which i feel like i will open it to maybe about 50 more people um so we will see I, i'm just very nervous about too many people showing up and then it not being enjoyable um but yes i'm looking forward to meeting so many of you and the plans are coming together we are gonna have just a few gift bags and we have some amazing sponsors that are donating to the gift bags all of which are black owned uh, businesses which we love that for us uh anywho thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you enjoyed it please give me a thumbs up it helps me out so much i would love at least 4,000 thumbs up on this video and I feel like y'all can do it because at least 20,000 of y'all are gonna watch now All I'm asking is for four four thousand of you to hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed the video um, And remember all of the pieces from my Goelia haul are linked down below in the description box and you can check them out too You can also use that code TS15 for a discount on top of the discounts that they already have. So shout out to Golia for partnering with me on a portion of today's video. I am filming tomorrow. We're going house hunting. So stay tuned for that video. I've never really done, well, you know what? When I first moved to Miami and I was looking at apartments, I did do an apartment search video. So if you wanna watch that kind of content, head to the home decor section of my YouTube channel. It features There is a mob of people on four wheelers coming down the road. <laughs> you gotta love it. You gotta love Harlem. Um, there is a home decor section of my YouTube channel that features literally the whole my whole Harlem apartment, which I redid during the pandemic. It has links to all the furniture. The same thing with my office with the IKEA closet. I have a whole video about that. I have a whole video about my home in Miami. So if you're you're a home decor person, galley guy, just go to the home decor section because it's all right there for you in one place. All right, you guys, stay tuned for more New York City vlogs. Thumbs up, subscribe, and click the notification bell so that you never miss a video. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye, guys.